This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Today we have another collection style video and today we're going to be taking a look at a one that a lot of you guys have been requesting and that is my Air Jordan sneaker collection. I don't know why, but you guys always say I don't collect Jordans, I just collect LeBrons, which is very incorrect because I have... Well, I'm bad at counting, but I have over 20 pairs of Jordans sitting right here that I'm going to show you guys today. The last time I brought you a Jordan collection was well over a year ago, so I figured it was time to update it, just so you guys know the retros and the non-retros that I have in my collection. So starting things off, guys, before we get into it, if you could hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, we are almost at 65,000 subscribers. We might actually be there by the time this video is posted, but that is an amazing number. I can't wait till we hit 100K. That is going to be even crazier. And and also, if you could give me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at the Real Ray Ray 20 If you guys want to stay in touch with me, that is the best way. But starting off with the first pair of sneakers, we have the Air Jordan 2012 in this black, white, and red colorway. This is technically the Jordan 27. If they kept the numbering conventions, they would have uh, made this the Jordan 27, but this is the Jordan 2012 nonetheless. It retailed at 150 bucks, and I was able to grab it for $70 at a Nike outlet, which I feel is a pretty good price. It's a good basketball shoe, although I don't wear it for that. Since it's high cut and has this boot, I wear it a lot in the winter, because it's a very comfortable shoe and it's lightweight, and it's something that's gonna let the snow uh, stop from going inside your foot. I really like how they look. You know, lots of people don't like how the Jordan 2012 looks, but I'm a huge fan of it, especially in this white, black, and red colorway. I think it's an awesome look, the Air Jordan 2012. All right, moving on from there, we have another one which is a favorite of mine, at least in terms of comfort. I haven't tried on the Ultra Boosts or the Pure, well, I have tried on the Pure Boosts, but the Ultra Boosts until very, very, very recently, like a week ago, have not been available in Canada, so I haven't had a chance to try them on. But now that they are, I'm definitely gonna be picking up a few pairs when some nice colorways release in Canada. But this is the Air Jordan 29. This is the most comfortable shoe I have ever worn and the most comfortable shoe in my collection. It fits like a sock up top with this knit upper and the unlock zoom on the bottom is extremely comfortable as well as this flight, pay, uh, flight plate. It provides a nice springy feel when you're walking in it, and I'm a huge fan of it. 225 was a bit much, but I think I got these discounted for around 175 or something like that, so that's not too bad of a price. But this is the only pair of 29s I have in my collection. I'll probably end up picking up one or maybe two pairs of 30s, depending how cheap I can get them. Might try playing basketball on these, because I didn't play basketball in uh, these, so I might try playing basketball in the 30s, is what I'm saying. But yeah, this is my only pair of Jordan 29s. I would definitely recommend them to anyone that's looking for an awesome basketball shoe. All right, moving on from there, we have two pairs of shoes that I'm a huge fan of, and they are my two pairs of Air Jordan Futures. We have this gym red and white colorway right here, and this bread colorway, which is really nice. So starting off with the gym red colorway, this was a normal release. It was $150 retail. As you can see, it has this red knit upper all the way across everywhere. It's very comfortable. You can uh, smush it down. If you take this out, it goes all the way down, just like a sock. There's still an insert in there, so that's why that's not collapsing. But this is a shoe that I love to travel with, simply because you can fold it down inside your suitcase and it takes up almost no space so it's a great shoe if you're traveling it's very comfortable obviously the Jordan 11 outsole on the bottom it's a graphite shank plate not a carbon fiber for you guys that might have been confused but this is a great colorway as well as this one right here this bread colorway I love the 3m detailing all over this black woven upper I don't know if you can see it in this light but you can definitely see it when any sort of flash hits it uh, there's little 3m uh, weaves all the way through this black weave you have a red suede tongue and a suede saw Liner, which I'm a huge fan of those are the two uh, or one of the two big upgrades that you had on the premium version and then this was the other one you had this huge like screw on eyelet or what, what's it even called egglet there screw on egglet and uh, that was the other touch. Is it worth $35 extra for those two touches and the 3M, I guess? Probably not, but it's a great colorway and that's the reason I picked it up. Not because of the 3M, not because not of the suede. I picked it up because it's an amazing colorway. The black and red bottom is pretty sick too, looking exactly like the Jordan 11 breads. But besides that, two pairs of Futures, really comfortable. I'd recommend picking up a pair of Futures or a pair of Horizons considering it's the exact same material and cushion setup. So either way, you're good to go if you're looking for a nice, comfortable sneaker. All right, after that we have the Air Jordan 11 in the 72 and 10 colorway. This obviously released only a couple months ago. This is pretty fresh in everyone's memory. And you guys have all seen it a million times, so I'll be really quick on it. It has great materials. 
Great outsole, I love that milky outsole. If you guys wanna see more details and my thoughts on this sneaker, you can click the button in the top right hand corner of the screen and it will take you straight to my video where I throw them on feet and tell you guys what I think about this awesome Jordan 11. In my mind, best Jordan 11 ever. But anyway guys, moving on from there. After that we have one of what is quickly becoming my favorite Air Jordan model and it is the Air Jordan 4. First off, we have the most recent Air Jordan 4 to release, the Alternate 89. I know lots of people didn't pick this up in anticipation for the White Cement 4s, but I think this is just as good, if not better, than the White Cement 4s. I love the red on it. The leather is really, really nice. I think I'm still going to pick up the White Cement 4s. I'm going to try online. I don't really feel like camping out at the store because people are going to be crazy about them. But I'll try and pick the, up the White Cement 4s online when they release next weekend. Hopefully, I'll be able to get them because those are a great colorway, but this is also a great colorway. I love the metallic finish on the midsole. If you guys also would like to check these out in a video, feel free to click the button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Also, I have a pair of Toro Bravo 4s. This is a bit of an older release, came out in 2013, which is two and a half years ago already. That's pretty crazy. But these are still in great condition. If you guys look at them, they still look essentially brand new. Uh, back when Jordans were $160, the Nuba quality is still pretty good on these uh, compared to the remastered ones. And I love the colorway. Like, this could have been an OG colorway. It's just red and black with a little bit of white on the midsole. I think these things are amazing. They turned out great. Jordan brand killed it on these. And last but not least, we have a third pair of Jordan 4s in the Air Jordan 4 Oreo colorway. This one released last year in February, so almost a year by now. The quality of leather is awesome on it. Obviously, it's a classic, iconic colorway. All sneakerheads love the Oreo colorway, and these things sold out really quick, even though they made hundreds of thousands of pairs, and there's really no surprise in that because this is a crazy nice colorway. I'm lucky to get a pair, or I'm happy to get a pair. It was pretty easy to get a pair in all actuality, but I'm really happy that I got my hands on this pair of sneakers. I've worn them a whole bunch over the course of 2015 and early 2016, and I'll be wearing them a whole lot more as the year progresses. Okay, now we have a super nice, super clean colorway of the Air Jordan 1. This is really simple. It's just the Cyber Monday 1. I think these things are awesome. It's just black leather and a very good quality leather, let me say. It's nice and soft and plush and supple and whatever adjectives you guys want to use, buttery, I don't even care what you guys want to call it. It's a nice leather. It's entirely black on the upper with this matte finish. And then you have your white outsole and midsole. These were not really hyped up, they were slept on, they were really easy to get, so if you uh, if you wanted to get them, you were probably able to get them, and this is a great colorway in my opinion. Uh, they came with white laces as well, although I don't really understand why you wouldn't want the black laces on these. I think they look a bit weird with white laces, but these things are amazing in my opinion. Haven't had a chance to wear them yet, probably gonna wait for spring after the snow and salt disappears off the streets until I break these out, but I am pumped to finally wear these because this is an amazing colorway of the, jo of the Jordan 1. So now we got the Air Jordan 11 Low IE. This is a bit different than the regular Jordan 11. Some different things that you'll notice is there's a whole bunch of breathability holes cut in here backed with mesh, which I think is a really cool touch. Also, there's rope laces uh, that are a lot thinner than the traditional rope laces on the Air Jordan 11, and there's actual eyelets instead of the little loops that they have on the traditional Jordan 11s. As well, obviously, it's a low-cut sneaker. I think these things are amazing. These, once again, was a sneaker that sat on shelves, was really, really easy to get, and I honestly don't understand and why. This was a PE handed out to referees in the 95-96 season, I believe, and they finally released them in 2015. The bottom is amazing, those red traction pads, the smoked out bottom, absolutely love these things. Also, I have a pair of Air Jordan 9s here moving on. This is the anthracite colorway, I guess. These released in September of this year, and these things are flames as well. Like, I don't know how people didn't like these. Like, these are beautiful. It's this really nice gray suede or nubuck. It switches color when you, uh, when you touch it, and it's a really, really soft material, like really soft. You have your rope laces, your boot eyelets, it's all gray all over the place. You have a black bottom or you have a black midsole, pardon me, with sort of a charcoal bottom, your big white jump man, you have like 23 on the back stitched on in white. This is just a quality sneaker overall. This, once again, haven't had a chance to wear these just like the uh, Air Jordan 1s that I showed earlier, but I will definitely be wearing these later on in the year once all the snow melts, but these things are amazing. I don't know how these things sat because these were really, really easy to get. All right, this is another fan favorite they released this year, the Air Jordan Aqua 8. Obviously, you guys have all seen these before, seen a million reviews of them as well, so you don't really need me to go into any more detail. If you haven't already, there's a review on my channel and you guys can go check that out. 
out, but this is a really nice colorway. You have black, gray, blue, purple, crazy colors on the bottom. There's not much else to say. Also, my only pair of Jordan 3s right here, the Air Jordan 3 Infrared 23. I'm really sad that Jordan brand has discontinued 3s for the foreseeable future because this is an awesome model and now I only have one pair. I'm not one to sort of go on eBay and look for deals because I'm gonna end up buying a fake and it's just too much hassle. So this is the only pair that I have and this is the only pair that I will have for the foreseeable future unless something, you know, um, unless something special happens and I get a pair gifted to me or something like that. But this is a great colorway. As I've said before, I like these better than the white cements. If you guys disagree with me, fine, but that's just my opinion. I think these things are absolutely beautiful. Moving on from there, we have another pair of Jordan 1s, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Laney. This one is not quite as classic feeling as the Air Jordan 1 Cyber Monday. It has some bright colors, which usually I'm not a huge fan of on Jordan 1s or any Jordans overall. I like Jordans to be a bit more toned down, you know, reds, blacks, grays, whites, stuff like that. But this was an exception. It has really nice materials. It is an awesome suede, it has an awesome tumbled leather, and the best thing about these was I got them for $99 with no sales tax, so that was a great price. $40 off retail, they used to be $140, now they retail for $160, which is stupid, but this is a great colorway in my opinion. It looks really nice with just a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. It's a great summer sneaker. I've worn these a whole bunch. Moving on to another pair of sneakers that is really awesome as well, the Air Jordan 10 Bulls over Broadway. This is my only pair of Jordan 10s, although hopefully within the next week or so I will change that by getting the black OVOs, even though I probably have absolutely no chance of picking those up. But this is an all red leather, it's a very nice leather, you have all the achievements on the bottom, you have speckling on the midsole, there's a lot of things to love about this shoe. It released on Valentine's Day, so it's pretty cool that they released a shoe on Valentine's Day that was all red. I thought that was a nice touch. But moving on to probably the craziest pair of shoes in my collection the Air Jordan 28, why not? If you guys haven't seen these, there's tons of cool details about these, especially the packaging. You guys need to go check out my review. There will be a video in link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Definitely go check it out. See the cool packaging that it comes with because it's really something. This is such a crazy shoe. I haven't worn these in a long time. I really need to break these out. If you guys are wondering, yes, I do wear these casually because this is just a sick sneaker. It literally says, why not? over the side of the sneaker, on both sides too. Like this is an absolutely amazing sneaker. Can't get enough of these. They were $250 though, but I did get them for a gift, so it sort of evens out, but this is an amazing sneaker, the Air Jordan 28, why not? All right, and wrapping it up with the last two pairs of Jordans in my collection. First off, we have the Air Jordan 2 white and red. The exact opposite of this sneaker actually just released today in the Air Jordan 2 alternate. If you guys want to pick those up, I think they're still available in a full size run, so I will leave a link in the description. That is a shoe that I really, really want to get and will probably end up picking up later this week so if you guys want to beat me to it there is a link in the description to pick up the Air Jordan 2 87 alternate but this is the non alternate this is the home version of the Air Jordan 2 and this thing is amazing the leather quality could be a lot better this is pre remastered days so it is cardboard leather still but it's a great colorway it was only 150 bucks back when it released so there's not really much you can complain about and wrapping things up we have another pair of Air Jordan 28s this time the Air Jordan 28 SE in this all-star colorway absolutely love the colorway don't get to wear these much because they're really bright, but when I do wear them, they definitely catch some eyes. This is a shoe I might actually just end up playing ball in because I don't get very many opportunities to wear them casually, but it's very comfortable with that unlock zoom once again and that flight plate. I love the decoupled outsole. Lots of people weren't a fan of that, but I love it. I love the feeling of that transition on it. I think it's great. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up my Air Jordan sneaker collection. Let me know which shoe was your favorite. I don't want to hear in the comment section, dude, all those are from 2013 and newer. Well, when do you think I got into sneakers, possibly 2013, so I didn't really have an opportunity to pick up any of the older ones, so none of those comments, please. You guys say silly things in the comments, but thank you to all you guys that support every single video. I appreciate you watching this far. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So, until then, peace.